Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from exitautomation.com and welcome to another video from Exit Automation. And today, in this video, we are going to talk about test project versus Catalon Studio. So this is a high time to really talk about test project and Catalon Studio. The reason being, these two tools are really getting popular among the community. A lot of people are trying to use them, not just their personal use, but also in organizations. These are the tools which has really replaced the way testers were thinking to build a framework from the scratch and using these tools, those kind of ideologies kind of reducing and now people are going towards these tools and this is a high time to see what these tools has really got and which tool is really the best tool to go with or choose at this point of time as there are so many breaking changes happening on these tools in terms of commercials and also in terms of their feature rich enhancements and in this video we are going to be talking about the complete smackdown of test project versus catalan studio all right so let's get started so before getting started into the actual smackdown of test project with the catalan studio we are going to take a different approach this time that we are going to be going to bias our focus on a particular tool and we'll see what that particular tool has really got in terms of the feature set against the tool that we are comparing. In this case, we are gonna be biasing the test project as the tool which has got the best feature which Catalan Studio has not really got. And then we are gonna do the exact same thing with the Catalan Studio as well. So this is test project focused area. Test project supports recording and running an iOS test from Windows operating system which is kind of insane and we have already discussed about this in our Exit Automation YouTube channel as well as in Udemy that test project is the first ever tool which actually does that. Whereas Catalan Studio does not support this option. Test project supports popular Java and C Sharp language to write the test code. Whereas in Catalan Studio it only supports Groovy language. And now the question comes is how many people are really very familiar with Groovy language. For sure, there are many people who are at least familiar with the object oriented programming languages such as Java and C Sharp, whereas Groovy is kind of a new breed altogether which people have to learn, which Catalan Studio does support, not these languages, which test project really outshine on this area. Similarly, you can export the recorded code in C Sharp as well as in Java language for extending the test cases. Whereas in Catalan Studio, it's only groovy, so there is no point in talking about that. And then you can export the code and you can edit the code with a native like Selenium and Appium coding standard along with some of the test project libraries in the editor of your choice, such as IntelliJ IDE or Eclipse or even Visual Studio Code. And then you can upload the DLL or the JAR file in the test project platform and then you can use as if like a custom keyword or a plugin in test projects platform. Whereas in Catalan Studio, it has its own IDE and there is no point in exporting the code, which is kind of a great feature maybe because Catalan Studio really don't really have to do all these kind of crazy things, but you still have to stick with its own IDE. You cannot really actually use your own IDE of your choice, such as IntelliJ IDE or Visual Studio Code. But you can still do that with the other text editor, even like Autumn or Sublime Text. But the problem is you should know the syntax and stuff. The whole test project can be accessed in bits and pieces from the API platform provided by test project, which is not at all the case with Catalan Studio, but still you can access some of them with Catalan Analytics or so-called Catalan's DevOps for the CI CD operation to run via runtime engine. And again guys, runtime engine or RE is actually a paid version of Catalan Studio. And now comes the question. So far we have not talked anything about paid versions of test project. And as you can see the last point, test project remains always free with all the features. Whereas Catalan Studio has recently started rolling most of their feature 
as paid versions, at least the one that you much care about, something like plugins, which is kind of very, very famous, and then the runtime execution engine, which is something that you can use to run your code on Docker container or CI CD or even connecting with the Catalan Analytics. Those things are right now paid, whereas in test project, those things will remain free forever. And test project runs on the web browsers and there will be agents installed in a local machine hence the test can be triggered via a job from anywhere whereas in catalan studio you can run the test even in the docker container and in the remote machine only via the catalan studios own runtime engine which is paid again and you can mix and match the test in different languages for the same test cases for instance you are good in Java and you have already done the test and you have a teammate who is good in C sharp maybe, you can probably ask him to write the same code in C sharp, upload the particular test in the test project platform and then you can mix and match both these test cases in one single test case and then you can start using it. Whereas in Catalan Studio, nothing can really be done because it's all groovy. Well, as that said, we are going to talk next about the Catalan Studio focused feature. So here we are going to talk about the great things which Catalan Studio has got, which test project has not got at all. Catalan Studio supports Windows app automation, which is a new feature introduced in Catalan Studio 7, which is available using WinApp driver. We have already discussed about that, but this particular feature is not available in test project yet. The next one is Writing the test in the BDD with Cucumber option is available in Catalan Studio released many versions before which test project doesn't really support yet and there is a reason for that and we have already discussed about that in our Exit Automation YouTube channel as well as in Udemy videos. Catalan Studio supports running test in a Docker container via runtime engine. We already discussed about that in our previous slide. You can do the same option with test project even free of cost using test project's API and agents in a single docker container by writing some docker compose and stuff but the out of the box solution is not available with test project yet maybe they'll be releasing them pretty soon and catalan studio has its own ide as i told you before this is a great thing they actually built this catalan studio ide using the eclipse framework and which is kind of great because the framework or the ide is updated for each and every versions making it more intelligent so it is offline and hence developer can do recording coding and don't really have to be online for writing any test execution or test recording whereas for test project for recording you must need to be online because as i told you before test project is a web-based application so you need to be online for at least recording but for modifying or editing the test you don't really have to be online Rather, you can just do it in your own local machine if you're going to be extending that code. And then once you're online, you can then upload that particular code to the test project platform. And the next thing is Catalan Studio has a separate Catalan recorder for Chrome browsers. And you can even export the particular code to Catalan Studio for further extension. Whereas in test project, no such thing really exists. The reason being test project itself is a web-based application and you don't really need to necessarily have this kind of recorder but internally test project does install a plugin within the chrome browser while doing the recording option but that's not available as a separate external chrome browser plugin for you to actually install and start playing around with it so these are some of the great features with catalan studio has got as compared to the test project itself so as i said we have now seen their own focused way of benefits in both these different tools. Now, on a nutshell, the key areas that we should focus in here is this. Test Recorder for iOS, Android, and Web is actually available in Test Project as well as in Catalan Studio, which is awesome. The next one is Programming Languages for Coded Test. Test Project supports C Sharp and Java, whereas Catalan Studio supports only Groovy. Export Recorded Code for extending the test is of C Sharp and Java language in test project, whereas in Catalan Studio, it's only Groovy. Similarly, executing the test in more than one programming language via the platform. Yes, it is supported in press project. You can mix and match that execution using C Sharp and Java. No such thing is available in Catalan Studio. Test project is very, very easy to set up. All you have to do is just install the agents in any browser that you need. That's it. Whereas in Catalan Studio, 
Third party tools, installation and configurations are still required. But the Catalan Studio itself in an IDE, just a matter of unzipping the file. Recording and running the iOS test is supported in Windows operating system as well, not just in Mac, which is available in test project, which is completely not supported in Catalan Studio. Supported platforms in test projects are Windows, Linux and Mac operating system, whereas in Catalan Studio, the IDE of the Catalan Studio runs only in Windows and Mac operating system, but you can still run the batch execution in Linux operating system. Team collaboration like testing repository, recorder test, data sources, elements, coder test is available in test project, whereas paid services of beta version with limited options are there in Catalan Studio for a few of these options. Deployment and test execution. In test project, you can seamlessly do with the test project agents and the web portal. Whereas in Catalan Studio, you can still do that, but it's a paid service and the beta version supported with runtime engine. Access via API for CI and CD like test execution, reporting, controlling the agents, controlling the devices. Those things have complete access in test project, whereas it's a limited access in Catalan Studio and it is paid service and some of them are in beta version as of now. Similarly, community add-on supports is kind of very, very popular or maybe getting popular in many tools right now, like you can do your own contribution of the add-ons. Test project has more than 100 plus community add-on, whereas Catalan Studio currently has only 30 plus custom keyword and add-ons. Execution management and scheduling. This is one such thing that is kind of very, very important that even you don't really need to have a continuous integration system which is available in test project using jobs, whereas in Catalan Studio, you can still do that, but using the paid services, and some of them are in beta version with limited options. Finally, reporting and analytics. It has extensive reporting in test project. We have already discussed about that with screenshots and PDF reports and stuff. It is also available in Catalan Studio, but just that they are in paid services for Catalan analytics. As of now, Catalan analytics is in beta stage, if it goes full version, maybe it's become paid service as well. Finally, licenses. This is one of the most important thing that differentiate test projects from Catalan Studio itself. Test project is free for all the features without limitations for companies and individuals. Whereas Catalan Studio is $8.28 per year per seat and it has a 30 days of free trial and individual licenses. Well, as that said, the final question is, will the test project remains free forever? Well, this question I asked personally with test project and test project has given this answer to us. Test project will forever remain completely free for all of its features since this is exactly one of the main goal and the same goal that Tries and T's had while acquiring test project. So as we know already that we already discussed about this in our October roundup of EA Weekly, where we said like Tries and T's acquired test project a couple of months before. And while acquiring test project, Tries and T's and test project has a clear goal that this test project tool will forever remains completely free with all its feature, which is pretty amazing. So we don't really have to go with some surprises in future saying this particular tool is going to be paid or something like that. And they also said that the goal is giving back to the test automation community so that they have a complete test automation platform that is all free at absolutely no cost, which is really, really a great effort by the team who is giving back something to the community. You can read more about these informations in the article link below. And I'm also going to put this particular link in the description below in this video. And you can see how this is really happening. So that's it, guys. This is the actual differentiation between Catalan Studio versus Test Project. And you can see which tool is actually getting better or better and how they differentiate itself from their own features. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video. And tell me what is your thoughts and put those details in the comments below so that we will know what you are thinking and where these tools are leading towards and let us know which tool is better in your perspective. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.